On Sunday, April 10th, Cincinnati Reds rookie Hunter Green made his major league debut against the defending champion Atlanta Braves. In that start, the former number two overall pick threw five innings, struck out seven, and allowed just three runs. But most notably, Green threw a whopping 20 pitches 100 miles an hour or faster. That's obviously pretty damn cool, but how cool? How historic? How much of an outlier? To truly appreciate the magnitude of what Hunter Green accomplished, we have to take a deep dive into the 100 mile an hour club. Tell me about the 100 mile an hour club. Can I join? Uh, no, I don't think you can join. This is very different than the $20 million club that Bob Nightingale is in. <laughs> this is the club that is exactly what it sounds like. Can you throw a baseball 100 miles an hour and jake as far as i know you've never really come particularly close. for our purposes we're talking about throwing 100 miles an hour in the major leagues because look there are a lot of you know junior college guys out there throwing 100 on a pocket radar with some grainy video i need you doing it in front of the stat cast system on the major league round to have you involved in the reason why we're talking about this today is because we have a new undisputed member hunter green a loud and proud entrance into this club. So yeah, we're just going to talk about the who throws 100 miles an hour in Major League Baseball today. They are not all the same. Now, we should clarify, we are not rounding up. If you threw 99.7 miles an hour, I'm happy for you. It's pretty sick. You got to hit triple digits. 99.9 yes. is not 100. Sometimes when you hit 99.7 on StatCast, that will register as 100 on the flashy graphic your <laughs> regional sports network of choice is using. 100. <laughs> Whoosh. Right, so that 99.6 can sometimes qualify as 100, but for our standards, it mm -mm. must reach that 100.0 on the StatCast system. So I think a good place to start, too, is, is understanding how rare is it, right? We think, oh, because now if it says, oh, everyone throws 100 in the big leagues. Okay, that's, that's not actually true. What people do say is everyone throws 95, and in some senses, that is actually true. Jake, 590 <laughs> different pitchers threw a ball 95 miles an hour last year in the major yeah. league. If you were walking down the street and there was a guy on your corner playing catch, throwing 95 miles an hour, that would be notable for you. You would be intimidated and you wouldn't be able to hit it. In the big leagues, that is not the case. That is the norm. That is everyday stuff. Over half of the pitchers that appeared that threw a single pitch in the big leagues in 2021 threw a ball at least 95. It is impressive by us mere mortals, but by yes. major league standards, 95 is simply not as cool as it once was. All right, now what about 96? Ooh, now we go down to 459. Now you understand. All you go tick up one, it gets a little more rare. How about 97? 335 pitchers through 97, 98, 201, 99, 110, and then we get to the 100 mile an hour club in 2021. Only 57 pitchers threw a ball 100 miles an hour in 2021 in the regular season. 100 is pretty cool. 101. But 101 is the new 100. Only 23 of those 57 reached 101.0. Only nine of them reached 102.0. And only two, at least in 2021, reached 103.0. To better understand the guys who do uh, throw 100 miles an hour, we're going to bucket them because being a reliever and being a starter who throws 100 miles an hour is a very different thing. Being righty and being lefty, obviously very different, two different hands. So for each of these quadrants, we have five categories, right? There are the dudes who could never dream of doing this. There are the guys who can do it. Then there's the guys who can do this when they want to. Mm -hmm. They do it with regularity, but not all the time. And then there's the top of the pyramid, and that's the guys where this is all they do. They basically only throw 100. And then we got who's coming. Because, you know, there are some hard tossing cheesemongers in the minor leagues. We want to make sure we shout them out. So let's go into our first bucket, by far the least impressive bucket, the right-handed reliever bucket. 36 of these guys threw 100 miles an hour last year. Right-handed relievers. This is who you would expect to be throwing 100, right? It is the guys of which there are the most. This is the, the highest amount of them in baseball is right-handed relief pitchers. <laughs> Probably some of them that you've never heard of. There are people, there are right-handed relievers that have thrown 100 miles an hour whose names you don't know. First of all, there are guys that, that, that will never do it right. I mean, Joe Smith has appeared in 7,000 major league games and he's never thrown 100 and he never will, right? That's fine. Never. Sergio Romo, same thing, right? But what about in the pyramid? Who, who can do it? We've seen them do it. It's just not like their thing, right? Yeah. Liam Hendricks, when he really lets out maximum F-bomb Liam Hendricks, 
the guy can hit 100 miles an hour. It, it is possible. Uh, Ryan Helsley is another example of this guy. If we're talking about people your aunt and uncle have never heard of who can mm -hmm. throw 100 miles an hour. Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly. Well, he's known for, for just his general crazy amount of presence, but sometimes he throws a ball 100, <laughs> which is part, yeah. part of the, the terror he, of facing Joe Kelly. Joe Kelly is a big 99.7 guy, shows up on the broadcast as 100. Don't be fooled. Okay, let, let's move up a little bit. What about guys that like, hey, they decide I'm going to throw 100 miles an hour now. Like, I need it. It's too strong. I'm going to blow up on you. This is the Edwin Diaz category. Yeah. Edwin Diaz can clearly throw 100. Not every, it's if, a lot of 98, 99, but you will see 100 quite often. Yeah. Edwin Diaz, when threatened, could throw 100 miles an hour. <laughs> he now. could throw 100. I'm not worried about that. Josh Stalmont, my goodness. Now, is it in the zone? You know, not not very often. But this is not, about. <laughs> this is not the 100 miles in the zone club. That's a different club. <laughs> Okay. No. Camilo Duvall, another very fun reliever with the Giants. He's definitely up here. Johnny Lasagna, Jonathan Elizago with the Yankees. That's a lot of arm surgeries. He's come back from all of them and is still throwing 100. Very, very impressive. God bless him. God bless him. We love it. Uh, and Michael Kopech, of course, I know he might be a starter this year. I don't know. But when we've seen him coming out of the pen, Kopech definitely fits in this category too. And now the top of the pyramid, the guys really only throw 100. This is just what they do. In the same way that I wake up and I cry by myself. <laughs> These guys throw 100 miles an hour. We are talking about, of course, Emmanuel Classe, Bruce Star Gratterall, Jordan Hicks, Andres Munoz with the Mariners, who gave up that incredible home run to Buxton on opening mm -hmm. day. These are different sort of varieties, right? We got the sinker ballers like uh, like Hicks and, and Gratterall. We got the, the 100 mile an hour cutter like Classe. Munoz is more of an up in the zone uh, kind of guy. Correct me if I'm wrong. Classe led baseball last year in 100 mile an hour pitches. That is correct. This gentleman threw 471 pitches. That's 44% of his overall pitches were over 100. Uh, second most, the guy we'll get to in a minute, that's Jose Alvarado, 215. Classe is really in a, in a tier of his own right now. And we'll talk about Chapman here in a little bit. Classe is kind of in his own league. It, well, with Jordan Hicks coming back, there should be some competition. Hicks missed a lot of time last year. And then before we leave this, this group, Jordan, who's coming? Who are some guys in the minor leagues? There's probably a lot. There's probably names we don't even know who are going to show up and throw 100 very soon. Two guys we've already seen this year in the big leagues that were not really there last year, except for the very end of the season. One of them is Spencer Strider uh, with the Braves who has really come on in, in a crazy way since he was drafted as recently as 2020. Johan Duran with the Twins. Oh my God. I mean, this dude's throwing 94 mile an hour splitters, which is even more impressive than 100 mile an hour sinkers. But he's throwing a hundo already. He was doing it in the minors. Now he's doing it in the big leagues with the Twins. Uh, and then I got to shout out my man, Joe Boyle. I don't know if he's ever going to throw enough strikes for the Reds, but he was up to 103 at Notre Dame. All right, let's toss the ball into our other hand, proverbially, and talk about the left-handed relievers. It's better to be a lefty than it is to be a righty pitcher, generally, and it's better to be one who's throwing 100 miles an hour. Jordan, who are some lefty relievers that will never throw 100 miles an hour? The crafty lefty. There are a lot of crafty lefties that have, that have made millions and millions of dollars in the big leagues. Brent Suter. That dude's getting by with just funk. Lucas Lickie revived his career in the Bronx. He's never thrown 100. TJ McFarlane, you know him well. Was he ever throwing 100 in Baltimore? I don't believe he was. No. <laughs> so, But he's still a big leaguer. However, let's talk about the guys that can do it because, again, throwing this hard as a lefty is insane. There are only eight left-handed relievers last season who threw 100. And let's start with the guys who did it the least frequently but did do it. This guy definitely in the Stalmont category of dangerous, and that is Henesis Cabrera, who we've already seen hit multiple guys. Not a pleasant at that, but definitely still pretty effective. Tanner Scott with the Orioles. I think he only did it once last year. Not anymore. Uh, oh, not with the Orioles. Just kidding. Tanner Scott was with the Orioles last year. Now he is with Miami. Last year, he only did it once. So did Jake Brents with the Royals. But again, even once, a very small list. Okay, what about guys that can do it? One of my favorites. You know one of my favorite relievers yeah. in the league. Gregory Soto. Some of the best hair. And also just from an intimidation standpoint, he's way up there. Aguilas legend. Garrett Crochet, who's going to miss this season with Tommy John surgery. Tight pants. Everyone's talking about him. Throwing 100. He went from getting drafted to pitching in the big leagues in two days back uh, a few years ago. But Cheddar is Cheddar, and people think this guy will be able to get outs from the left side. Yeah, here's what I'll say about Crochet. He was not throwing 100 even at the end of last year. He was down 95, 96. I think he's just been hurt for like a year. And I think when he's healthy and he comes back, I'm so confident this dude will be throwing 100 again. Uh, and then Anthony Ghost, my goodness, one of the craziest stories in baseball <laughs> over the last few years. But this is a great example. It's like, dude, why are you hitting? You're one of the few left-handers on earth that can throw 100. Get yeah. on the mountain, my guy. <laughs> That's exactly then, what he did. Now he's in yep. the big leagues uh, with Cleveland. All right. There's really one guy when we think of heat, when we think of velocity. I mean, when I think of heat, I think of Robert De Niro and Al Pacino. But then I think of Aroldis Chapman. He is the 100 mile an hour guy to the point that StatCast leaderboards used to have a Chapman filter 
so that you could take off all of his pitches to see who the other fastest pitches were. But he has some company now. Tell me about Jose Alvarado. Yeah, man. I mean, this dude is is just vicious. Obviously came over from Tampa Bay and he's also dealt with injuries. But last year, like I said, he threw the second most pitches over 100 miles an hour. He threw more than Chapman, 215 pitches over 100. Chapman only at 131. And that was 20% of Alvarado's pitches. Chapman, only 13% of his pitches were over 100. It is a crazy delivery. He's enormous. When you watch Chapman, it is like this perfectly torqued delivery to create velocity. Alvarado, it's just like, I'm a big dude and I'm just slinging it. Guys who could uh, elevate into this group, it's a small list, and it's similar to the list of lefty starters. Braylon Marquez with the Cubs? He was up to 100 as a starter in the Cubs, but he's never really thrown enough strikes. He's also dealt with injuries, I, but he's done it. Again, Like if, yeah. if you've shown it ever, you are on the radar. Uh, Matt Mikulski, another guy, recent draft pick by the Giants out of Fordham of all places. He's been up to 100 in the minor league, but it's just, it's so hard to do, and that's why like there's really only so many guys you can, you can highlight. We're going to hop back to Hunter Green and the righty starters in a moment. But first, let's talk about the smallest club of all, the most exclusive group, the inner circle of the inner circle, the creme of the creme de la creme. These are the left-handed starting pitchers in Major League Baseball who throw 100 miles an hour, and it is a very, very, very small list. List of two. It's a pair. It's not even a it list. It's a pair. It's not a group. It is a pair. It is a duo. Shane McClanahan. Sugar Shane with Tampa Bay, who threw 16 pitches over 100 miles an hour in the regular season last year. And our good friend, Carlos Rodon, out of nowhere. Did we ever think we would see Carlos throwing 100 again after his days in college? No, but my goodness, he did it last year just five times. But again, five times, not just once. Uh, and he's been up to already 99 in the early going this year. So I think he's got it in him again. I want to hop back to McClanahan, though. That guy is different. Throwing that hard as a lefty starter is something that we have never seen before. I know the title of this video and the hook of all of this is Hunter Green. But Mc what McClanahan is, is in some ways just as impressive and unique and special as what Hunter Green is. Just because he's doing it with his left hand. Two other names I want to mention. One is one that we've seen do it in the past, and maybe he could refine it again once he comes back. Is James Paxton? James Paxton was throwing a hundred uh, before he was, you know, having his string of injuries. And then one of the minor league, we got a shout out that you would appreciate. Deal Hall, I believe, yeah, touched hundred miles an hour uh, in in spring training this year. That is again a left hander that can touch a hundred, and definitely a name to know. And I would I would imagine he will be in the big leagues at some point this season. Fun group time. Let's talk about these starting pitchers. Jake Pence, how many starting pitchers threw a baseball, right-handed starters, threw a pitch 100 miles an hour in 2021? 11. Just 11 people. 11 people. As velos become much more common and we're used to seeing it, guys have developed, right? These, there's a ton of right-handed starters that are, that are, you know, sit 94, 95, okay, let's get it up there. And then boom, let's one max effort 100 miles an hour. But still, it's a pretty short list to do it as a starter in a major league game. Here are some names. Zach Wheeler did it one time last year. Mm -hmm. now, Zach Wheeler arguably should have won the NL Cy Young last year, but he did it one time. That's As fine. a treat. As a treat. Tyler Glass now did it before he got Tommy John in the middle of last year. Easier to throw 100 when you are the limb king. Just arms and legs everywhere you look. Luis Castillo did it. The pitcher for the Reds, not the old uh, second baseman for the Mets and Marlins. And then, of course, Nasty Nate. Nate Evaldi with the Red Sox. My 2022 Cy Young pick. Mm -hmm. He throws five different pitches over 10% of the time, and one of them is a fastball that at times does touch 100 miles an hour. This next group is guys that when they want it and they're like, all right, I'm just going to blow it by. I'm just going to throw like 10 straight fastballs. I can do that. Garrett Cole, right? I mean, this dude has been doing it now for years. It's still in there. It is it is one of the fastest arms, the perfect, you know, starting pitcher build. He's Garrett Cole. Cole trained for a reason. You know, when he presses the 100 mile an hour button, it's not a challenge for him. Next guy, Sandy Alcantara. One of your favorites, Jordan. Also a limb king. Very tall. Easier to throw 100 when your arm's gone forever. <laughs> yes, you mentioned you have all the your AL Cy Young picks. Sandy, my NL Cy Young pick. When we talked to Vlad Jr. Uh, and he picked Sandy for his Dominican WBC team, he said, everything's hard. <laughs> Not just the basketball, he said that everything's hard. Another Marlon, Sixto Sanchez, he's been hurt the last couple of years, burst onto the scene during the COVID season. He touched 100 in the big leagues as a starter. Hopefully he gets back soon. Dustin May, also super injured. Hopefully he comes back. He was throwing 100 with regularity before he got hurt. And then, of course, Shohei Otani. Rotating is rotating is rotating. Torque is torque. Power is power. Whether we're hitting him 450 or throwing him 100 miles an hour. It is so ludicrous. This is just another reminder, right? That there are 11 starters who can throw 100 miles an hour. At all. Total. And just one of them happens to also be able to hit 45 home runs. But let's talk about the two guys who throw 100 like, it's their duty. It is their purpose here on Earth. God plucked them from Mars, placed them on our planet, and said, go throw 100 miles an hour. That is Jacob deGrom, and that is Hunter Green. They are our two VLO kings.
Yes, and the reason why we are grouping these together is because of what Hunter Green did in his Major League debut, which is throw 20 pitches 100 miles an hour as a starting pitcher in one game. Now, who else has done that? Let's ask our good friend Sarah Langs. Of course she has the answer. The top of this list is Jacob deGrom. Last June, he did it 33 times. Holy shit, what a freak. Oh my God, Jacob deGrom, please come back soon. Second one, Nathan Eovaldi. Now this is the beginning of StackCast era, slightly different system, 28 times in 2015. There's deGrom again, the start before the one I just mentioned, 27. Your Donald Ventura, my goodness, rest in peace, 2014. He would certainly still be on this list, I'm sure. No, there's no Syndergaard twice in 2016, though. That was James Pax in 2016. And then there is Hunter Green with 20. Uh, Sandy also did it 20 times uh, in his start last year. So this is a very, very exclusive group, and this was just his debut. He's just getting started. And Jake, I believe his next start is... Uh, at Dodger Stadium, do you think he might be a little bit amped up for that? Perhaps he will maybe yeah. throw more than 20 <laughs> pitches 100 miles an hour? He is from there, right? Family's going to be in attendance against the best lineup in baseball. Maybe 103. Do we see one 103 with the adrenaline yeah. pumping through the veins? He maxed out at 101.6 against the Braves. He's been reportedly up to 104 in the minor leagues. But again, you got to see it on StatCast. I think he's definitely hitting 102 in Los Angeles on Saturday. He is our new flamethrowing king, man. Without DeGrom for the first half of the season, Green is in his own category. I think DeGrom is a reminder, though, that when we have these dudes who throw this hard, we should cherish them and watch them because they could break at any moment, yes. right? Even the ones that seem very stable. So make sure you tune in. You watch Hunter Green. I hope this video helped you understand why his velocity is so special, how it stacks up against the rest of the league. I'm Jake. That's Jordan. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go ahead. Go ahead. Type a little comment down below. How about comment down below? Who's your favorite 100 mile an hour baseball thrower? Mine is Jordan. Yeah, that's that's me. Mine is uh, mine is Julian Fernandez. Mine is uh, Brian Ellington with the Marlins. <sighs> the worst 100 of all time.